<sighs> Testosterone is at 5,300. Now I'm upping up to upping it to 1,700. Yay! Go Tohi! I can't wait for you to die. What's up, Kaseo? Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Today, I am going to react to a YouTuber called Toby Toji. Uh, Togi, however his name is pronounced. Uh, yesterday, I watched a video from Greg Dusset and uh, why are we listening to Toji something, Vesakusta title and a lot of it just made sense to me and I decided I haven't like ever watched like uh, Togi's content, uh, like I don't really know what he does but jitne bhi like ek ya do videos mene dekha ya fir I have watched like Greg's interpretation of it so fir it just tells me ki what sort of a YouTuber or yeah, like what sort of a person that uh, I wouldn't want to be. So yeah, let's react to the video. He made a podcast with, uh, I like forget his name. Maybe I have a thing that Greg Dusset has. I like, I am like, very bad with like names. His name is like Toji or Togi, whatever that is. Uh, but yeah, let's react to the video. Like his true self. So Facts. I try my hardest to Facts. stay true to myself. Even if I get canceled, you know, I don't. The influencing thing is like a cool experiment, but I don't, I'm not necessarily committed to it as a career. Mm -hmm. It's just like right. a side quest to a degree. Yeah, because yeah, otherwise you can just fucking gamble anyways. First red flag, like literally I'm like two minutes into the video. And one of the things that he says, he, he does like influencing, influence or whatever time pass. Ke and which is like a good thing. Even I just do it for like fun. But the alternative career that he thinks that is right for, and this is like someone who gets like, uh, I think 200 million views. He got like 200 million views last month. So a lot of people aged 17 to like 24, 25 maybe are like watching him. So he explains that he says something along those lines of uh, gambling is a good alternate career. And uh, yeah, let's see. It gets like more and more ugly. So. Exactly. I can gamble. There's other better ways to make money. I don't know about better. Yeah, better. We'll say gambling. <laughs> it's easier. Better yet. I think he's like 2021 20, or like 22 maybe. Like some parts of your brain are like literally not developed during this time. Like the rational part of the brain that helps you to differentiate between what is right, what is wrong versus like what is right, what is wrong in your fantasy. That part of the brain is like not developed. So no success but to really in my experience after i started like studying going viral and capturing an audience almost every single influencer we'll, we'll take jake paul as a good example <laughs> we'll take jake paul as a good example so yeah you need more haters than you do supporters. You need a, a, enough supporters to where you get likes and good engagement. Yeah. But it, I, in my opinion, you need more haters or at least 50-50 haters to supporters to really mm -hmm. hit the algorithm hard and hit it fast. Mm -hmm. um, there's outliers. Like I said, Sam Sulek somehow hit it really fast with not a single hater. But So all of that is good in terms of considering like uh, getting views. Yeah, if you have like a lot if you have like more haters basically they will comment something and they will send it to their friends basically look at this guy this guy's like doing etc etc uh but you know if uh, all of your audiences is like 18 20 21 22 and they put you on a pedestal and you have a lot more haters than you have like basically if you have a, a very skewed ratio of haters to like people who love you then i think that maybe you are the problem like you are doing something wrong because uh, when I watched Greg Doucette's video, Greg Doucette would come across as, if you watched, if you read the comments on Greg Doucette's videos, uh, Greg Doucette would come across as a hater to someone like Toby. And uh, why? Because he's telling the right thing. Like he's like way older than him. He's telling that do not do steroids, do not promote the idea of unhealthy bodybuilding, unhealthy, etc. Many things that he does is like unhealthy. And that to Toby come across as someone who's like a hater. So, at like eight in the morning, just chugging Nabivolol to try and keep my heart. <laughs> I'm sitting there, oh, shit. Do, 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 do. like this is it. I think that like his entire personality, like his entire life is tailored towards just getting more views and like getting like hitting the algorithm in like whatever way possible. Just a bad way to live, to be honest.
You've outdone <laughs> yourself this time, Togi. The, the fucking men and c- cocaine combo has finally caught up to you. But so far, we're good. Yeah, I think the so far we are good. He's like just 20. I don't know what sort of, what sort of an example that he's setting for all of his uh, audiences that are watching. And the thing is that he doesn't know what he is doing is wrong, maybe. And uh, like whenever I watch people like him, it, it is just like who I shouldn't be like five years from now, 10 years from now. And he like I'm really glad that people like him exist so that people like wise major people can actually look at him and say, Ki, OK, he is not doing this. <laughs> um, I'm, I, it's potentially flying a little close to the sun, but I think that's what keeps life exciting. Um, the closer you fly to the sun, and the closer you fly to the sun, etc. Yani ki kafi risk taking behaviors, and usually these are uh, like just related to you know people that the or the big five ocean test, personality test, people who are. Uh, like low on conscientiousness, which is like one of the diamond. Conscientiousness is like the personality trait of being responsible, careful, or diligent. Conscientiousness implies a desire to do a task well and to take obligations to others seriously. And conscientious people tend to be efficient and organized as opposed to easygoing and disorderly. And um, this guy is like, I think, like this, this usually happens like Another dimension of like the ocean stress is that ocean test, not oceans, is that openness. And when you are like very, very high in openness, which means that you seek like novel experiences. And when you are really low on conscientiousness, uh, which is like basically you uh, take like risk taking behaviors may up and usually at the expense of your health, usually at the expense of the people around you. So if, uh, yeah, usually like this happens. Uh, for me, it's not for everybody. The more uh, I enjoy my existence. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sick. I don't know like who this guy is, like the other person on the podcast pay, but uh, I think he seems like a little bit older, at least. <laughs> but <laughs> he's just like enabling him like, okay, yeah, this is sick. This is good. This is good. Like whatever stupid shit that Toby says, this guy is like... Oh. <laughs> uh. Do people ever come up to you and just be like, has anyone ever told you like you influenced them to take steroids or you haven't in, or you influenced them to not take steroids? Yeah, probably about five to 20 DMs a day saying, thank you so much, Tuggy. You inspired me to take steroids. <laughs> and, you know, he's like so proud of the fact that he has inspired people to take steroids because he's like so blind to it. He's like, I mean, I don't blame him. He's like just 20, 21. But, uh, and let's do like some quick quick math. Uh, if like five people a day, which is five times seven, which is like forty to fifty people every week that are hopping on gear are shortening their lives because of like this guy. And and five people are like just five people who have DM'd him. Maybe he has checked DMs. बहुत आते होंगे. पांच लोगों के DM उसने देखे हैं. That like maybe inspired him inspired them to take steroids there may be 10 there may be 20 there may be 30 people every single day taking steroids because of this guy none of kids not necessarily kids people and i'm sure some of them are kids have hopped on steroids because of me and to be honest i don't in the slightest feel guilty or responsible about it a because steroids have done nothing but benefit my life so if you're of the proper age and you i inspired you to take steroids you're welcome and steroids have done like nothing but benefit my life so uh i mean when you start taking something like that or uh, usually it is going to benefit your life in the short term which is like basically just uh the concept of alcohol as well uh when you are in the climbing steep uh usually it feels good it feels good but the point but the thing is that you need more of it to just get the same effect. So basically just addiction. So, Well, you're on the ascending limb of the blood alcohol curve, which is why you have to keep drinking mm-hmm. once you start. Because if you plateau, that yeah. goes away. So you got to keep drinking. Either way, Then it's a great drug. But the problem is, it's well, 
it's a great drug for the moment. Right. <laughs> right. There's there's consequences. And like judging by like watching by his videos, he has an addictive personality because uh jitne bhi titles maine dekhe i think he has like 10 20 videos on youtube uh most of them are like just centered around gaming most of them are just centered around gambling uh most of them are just centered around like uh gear addict as xyz gear addict as xyz so a lot of it is like just an addictive personality and usually what happens addiction is like usually you are not that happy with yourself and which like explains why he takes like exogenous amounts of drugs to just look a certain way to get validated by uh whatever amount of followers that he has uh but yeah stay away from addictions and just love yourself like because what you are doing is you are just trying to fill in the void of not being able to love yourself with like all of these activities um game plan for social media the original phase 1 was just I think his game plan is to just like take a lot of steroids, live till thirty, thirty-five if if he's like lucky, and then just like I don't know, take steroids on the internet, edit it to some cool music, and immediately it went viral. The first video I ever posted, I think it did like a few million views or whatever. Damn. Uh huh. So that's yeah. That's I forget exactly what the original question. I don't know how like the. and his like his entire personality and self worth like how he sees himself depends on like how many views or for how many likes how many comments or for how many uh people jo uske fan hai versus like uske haters hai like his entire personality just depends on external things i'm sure ki he can't just sit by himself and just be by himself like usually people like these usually can't do that so but my men- mentality has always been i don't have time you know i could get hit by a fucking bus tomorrow and die. i don't have time to let my goals wait whereas i need to do everything as fast as i possibly can even if it's going to be flying a little bit closer to the sun i can do what i can do i get my blood work done every month i take all the shit i need to take and do set just and greg do said reacted to his blood work and it is like basically not looking that good and he thinks ki he's like mitigating a lot of uh, the effects but uh, greg do said ka jo video hai i left link it down below and uh, this like don't be like this guy this is what happens when like you're not careful you don't really care about uh, you just care about instant gratification in a lot of things you are really high in openness which just means ki you are curious to more and more experiences more and more novelty uh like you can't basically stick with the same thing which explains like he does gaming he does gambling uh lifting eating habits also bahut saari cheeze they translate into most of the things that you do need to talk to women cuz i want to fuck them don't treat girls you know with nearly as much respect i don't know if it's because of the steroids or not so i would say overall plus 100 points on the loved ones and family minus 100 points on the women i feel ki you know uh this guy watches like andrew tate all day like andrew tate ke jo podcast hota hai he has like them on repeat like every single day which is why he is the way he is disrespectful but they then you i let them know um that whoever ends up being like the winner as in my wife kids treated like a queen like oh i want to raise my kids here i'm so excited to you know like have, buy my wife that car so you sprinkle mm-hmm. in that like you have it in you to be an amazing guy but you don't show it to that girl specifically cuz women are dying to get what they can i don't know why he thinks that whoever ends up uh, like being his wife is the winner because he just doesn't have good health all the money that is there is because he just looks a certain way once he stops looking a certain way because he'll have to stop taking steroids at a certain age all of uh, like his fame his glory and first of all he like just doesn't love his love himself like how is he able to how would he able to even have a real relationship with someone like the videos hote hain that you know these dating coaches tell you ki uh, if she sends you like two texts then aapko bhi do texts send karna hai ya fir if uh, like don't reply for like one day so that you seem busy I feel that this guy watched like a lot of those videos. <laughs> like instead of like playing all of these games, what you could have been doing is just building 
a skill like a real life skill rather than just showing off i i think this guy like doesn't have like i don't know what he does for a living except all like the social media thing but uh this is like very very superficial in a way like he doesn't have any real life skill like if instagram tiktok all the other platforms that he is on disappears tomorrow this guy is like just homeless basically don't be like this guy being in any activity because somebody else wants you to is guaranteed to be an unfulfilling activity even if it's your own parents they care about you they love you so uh he explains that in any single activity but you know something that has irreversible consequences uh for example taking steroids just abusing steroids and i think that i think he should take greg's advice basically and mm, I mean, if something has irreversible consequences and you still keep doing it at the expense of your health, it just means that you are addicted to it. And uh, yeah, it doesn't mean that in any single activity, uh, if it brings you happiness, you should do that. Like this is what happens when you like chase like happiness and just hop on the hedonistic hedonistic treadmill. This is what exactly. But they don't know what's right for you, and you'll know what's right if it feels right. And I think that this is exactly what happens when, like, your entire life's purpose is just to have fun and have it in like the most quickest way, have it in the most grandiose way as possible. So, so you'll know what you'll know what is right that feels right. Yeah, it usually feels right. in the moment so <laughs> it's a great drug for the moment right <laughs> right there's there's consequences yeah this sounds when it's not great. so only do shit that you enjoy and makes you happy nice <laughs> i just like like how casually a topi wala guy <laughs> just says nice <laughs> anyway so this was like i just wanted to do a reaction type video i saw greg's video and i just thought i really like the message that he had and uh, i just thought like whoever watches my videos just to get like just i just wanted to give like my perspective on it on uh, this uh, I forgot his toji i forgot his name but yeah anyways video se koi bhi value mili ho like ya fir even pata chala ho ki what things that you shouldn't do so fir just leave a like share etc and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one